action. So he's fired. Darn shame. Once again, the Browns prove that the only job with less job security in the world than Cleveland Browns head coach might be VCR repair technician. And it's close. Everyone's sad about it. We all love Freddie. I get that. He's a very likable man. Um, but I also like my friend Dave. But he shouldn't be the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. He works at uh, Stouffer's in Solon in the IT department. Does a great job. He's a real nice guy over there. But that doesn't mean you should be a head coach. That was always my concern with Freddie. He wasn't ready. Being nice isn't enough. He got along great with Baker. That made everybody really happy. But it turns out that having an affectionate relationship with a 23-year-old boy isn't the criteria you should look at before hiring a head football coach. Giving each other's uh, noogies and wet willies on the sideline doesn't translate into the win-loss column all that well. So I was reluctant when they hired him. Um, I wanted him to do well. I would have loved to have been wrong. But at the same time, uh, I kind of felt like it was like a, a wedding invitation that I got from two people who were friends of mine, but who I knew should not be married and where it wouldn't last. I was supportive. I showed up. I brought a gift, a $75 cutting board that was on their registry. And then a year later, they broke up because I was right. And I don't get that cutting board back. And a year of my life is gone. That's how I feel right now. Now, Freddie's going to be fine. I have no doubt. I mean, not for a little while. Not just because, I mean, he'll get paid. He's going to get his money, obviously, but that's not the end of it. We, we broke him for a while. It happens with everybody who comes here. See, we know what it's like because we've been here the whole time. People like Freddie, coaches, players, they come in and they're like, I'm, I'm going to be the one that turns this around. And we're like, okay, good luck. Because they've succeeded at every level of their life. Grade school, high school, college. They did great. Uh, and then they're like, now all I've got to do is go to Cleveland and fix this. I'm invincible. Nope. And we sent them out of here a couple years later, turned their hair white. They age like second term presidents in their time that they're here. And they're broken for a while. Um, but Freddie will be all right. He's a smart offensive mind. He was a great running backs coach last year. I really loved him in that role. Um, and he will be a good offensive coordinator in a couple of years once he shakes, the, shakes that off, what we did to him. But right now I want a grizzled old coach with a lot of experience who knows how to handle a bunch of nonsense. Still have some faith in Baker. Saw some more good stuff from him today. Reminders of why we liked him last year. Put an offensive line around him so he won't get murdered. Uh, and give him a head coach that's not trying to be his cool older brother. It's trying to be his stern dad. You think anyone likes Bill Belichick? One of the most hateful men on earth. But he gets results. Anyways, go Browns. Hang in there.